Hello everyone, for today's project I have a special order from my wife and that, that's why it is a special order. Uh, she asked me to make a scissors stand because her scissors are laying all around and uh, and uh, disturbing especially me. <laughs> Uh, so so I decided to make a scissor stand as she asked me and for this I prepared a piece of cherry cut it and seal it with a wax one year ago one and a half year ago I don't remember exactly so I suppose it should be dried enough I have a, some big crack here but it will be removed this will be the bottom I have one crack here on the bottom but I suppose I will clean it up and this crack should have disappeared. And what is the idea of the project? It will be standing like that. To here I will create a plate, something like a plate with holes uh, to insert uh, scissors in these holes. The plate will be for uh, necessary stuff for sewing for her. So she will can she will put the there everything what she want <laughs> and here on this height will be a foot pedestal uh, for a small pillow for needles and I think it will be a very useful it will be looking pretty nice I will try to make a, some decorative decorations on it some glue some bumps some everything <laughs> what you can imagine uh, or in, if not you can imagine it can happen too <laughs> so let's go to the late I have a warm screw here oh one more thing one more thing if it will be possible I will create a turntable from this because I have a bearing for a turntables so I will put this on the bottom some food for it and it should be spinning around it will be much more useful than I thought so let's go Okay, here I have a piece of beechwood, 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 yes, uh, and I will round it and try to make a foot for the ped for the stand. Uh, then I will put this on the on the drum sander, flatten it the second side uh, to keep this straight, and then I will back to the stand and hollow the uh, the size of the ring, how much I will need. It will cover the uh, the bearing inside and finish it the bottom and this will be for now. So let's start shaping the foot.
okay what i have done for now is a base with a bearing screw it to the base and here is the hole and fr uh, through this hole i will use a screwdriver to screw the screws to the base of the uh, stand now as you see i have marked the uh, place which i have to remove i a bit higher a bit uh, wider than i than the than the base is with bearing because i seen the wood starts wobbling a bit so i will have to remove the, as much wood as possible now to avoid uh, cracking and other wobbling and unshaping the piece so let's start it
okay it is end of turning i have a lot of tear outs but i think i will remove all with 80 grit sandpaper it will be a lot of sanding but i don't see any other solution how to make it properly with gouges it's too tight here to do anything so i will back after sanding uh, and we will finish this with axe pastes okay and as you see i have 12 holes around the rim uh, behind the step which is covering them those a bit uh, six millimeters holes but one one holes here is eight millimeters because she have a uh, scissors which are having a uh, blades a bit wider now i will finish it with axe pastes i will leave the center the top because here will be a small pillow for needles then i will take it off and screw the base with bearing and should be spinning and everything will be done when i will finish it we will see on the uh, we will see this this stand on the on the turntable